cars. What do you guys think of that one? I don't think so. Respect your body. Yeah, we've been eating healthy foods for... And you can't be yeah. gas. <laughs> a few weeks after the swap, the cameras returned to see how the experience had affected the family's lives. We get that stuff cleaned up off the coffee table and then go ahead and vacuum up. Since the swap, Alan's been on the boys a lot to help out, and it gives me more time for myself. We've been trying to eat healthier. We have grilled chicken that we just grilled. I watch a little bit what I eat. Since the swap, we have been focusing a little more on the education. Je m'appelle. Je m'appelle Cameron. Excellent. <laughs> Mechanical engineering and design. I got interested in engineering because I like to think about stuff. This is where your strong background in math is going to help you in your engineering. But, you know, we'll have to work on the uh, English part of it. This is our symbol of respect for America and the way we live and who we are. We're proud Americans. If you don't like America, you can go back to England. He just, no, I would never visit Stephen Fowler ever again. We haven't kept any of Gayla's rules. I don't even remember what Gayla's rules were. So, PFAD, have you done your reading for today? Homework continues to be a priority because they've realized that if you don't get your homework done, they've seen what happens. We realized that education was important because she wasn't, like, the smartest person. Suffice to say that we have not been paintballing or go-karting. Oh, there's no question that I did my best to communicate together. I've never had any serious interaction with anyone with that level of intelligence before. I think she was out of her league. Not every day she's going to come across someone like me. <laughs> she's pretty happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> to apply for WiveSwap, call 1-800-509-5638 or email families at rdfusa.com. Next time on Wife Swap, the radical unschooling Martinsons meet the highly educated, high achieving Jones family. You have a 10 year old child. He's basically illiterate. But he's not illiterate. He reads he well. He can read, but he cannot write. You guys don't know how to learn at an amusement park. My kids do. That's all I can say is wow. You have no idea. I have no idea what. I'm constantly going and I have no time. You need to get a grip on your child's education and not sit on the cotton picking computer all day.